So here, obviously, uh, we have this website. By the way, I'm Jerome, as per answer from mybuild.ph, uh, doing a tutorial on Drupal, using image styles for Drupal 9, uh, which would practically work with Drupal 10 also. Drupal 8, actually it will work for any Drupal version. Image styles is a, is a core uh, feature of Drupal, whether version 7, 8, 9, or 10. All right, so what is image styles? Just to quickly show you, we have this page which has um, multiple images on this part, projects for portfolio. But if you will view each image, as you can see, what we really need, what we just really need is in terms of size, is we simply need around 425 by 360 estimate here. Actually, it's not 425. It's 445 by 380. I'm sorry. 445 by 380. 445 by 380. So that's the exact width and height. Not, not really exact, but the closest estimate that we need. 445 by 380 as we can see right this is what our layout is requiring for the images but one but if you right click on each image as you can see the images are being resized to a larger size which is 560 by 480 which we do not want we want it to be smaller you know to 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 improve performance uh, page loading once you have bigger pictures uh, bigger images bigger file sizes therefore slower performance slower loading speed so what we want is um, uh, exact or slightly smaller than than the actual so this is what we want we have a need to resize the those images automatically to 445 by 380 and Drupal using image styles can do that automatically. Once you upload the image, it will resize the images for you. All right, so going to the back end, uh, over to the back end, we have, oops, uh, we need to get the GT metrics of that. Oh man. Kindly hold. Let me just get the. Let me just get a benchmark measurement, you know, so that we will know if if the the activity we will do will improve the performance of the web of, the, of that page of the page alone. All right. So while that's running. We don't have cache in place, so it's going to be slow. But once we will improve the image styles, the images, we will do a uh, another another run using GTmetrics. And what we're expecting is that it will slightly in, um, improve the performance. So this is now C. Earlier it was F. <laughs> 78 all right performance and grade c all right so using image styles what we want is to have a 445 by 380 uh auto generated images right let me just double check Correct, 445 by 380. So using image styles, we could easily create. It's under configure media image styles. You could easily create, add an image style. We don't have an existing that is closest to that. So we need to add one. Add image style. Guys, take note. So we want to label that as simply by 445 by 380. 
so that we will know it's an image style that will target this size and create that you could probably add more like it's gonna happen on portfolio etc etc under the style name but this is basically a generic something that i can use later on right all right under effect we have select a new effect by default image styles uh module it's a core module built in it gives you different uh features on what to do with your images after uploading it to the server do you want it to crop do you want it to scale or do you want it to scale and crop at the same time these two is different crop means it will simply cut cut a larger image to a smaller size so you might lose so you might lose some elements depending on how it will be cut it will be trimmed while scale is actually you know using the actual image but scaling it so you might uh, the disadvantage of scaling you might get a you know stretching of images which we do not want you might get uh, thinner or fatter elements than the original so we do not want that so what we what we want is to use both scale and crop it will try to it will try to scale it according to what you will put here so the intended width is 445 and the intended height is 380 380 so what it will do is will it will try to trim the photos depending on how you want it all right and it will have a some uh, a reference point on where it will get the the scaling or the cropping from what reference point so if you have an image like for example for our example this is actually the actual image that we are i'm sorry not that one this is actually the actual image that we are uploading this one so it's it's a since it's a portfolio type of image of course it's most probably it can sometimes see the original image being upload may be longer or maybe portrait oriented and yet once we upload that using an image style 560 by 480 it will try to cut it but based on what on the center so sometimes you need to decide should the cropping and the scaling happen from the center in this case i think no I think the cropping should start from here. It should start from the top, right? And it will try to to limit it from here depending on your height. Instead of cropping it from the center, which is what happened. So this is not good. So what we want is to crop that starting from the top and then add the effect. Once that's added, you can actually do some combinations right like if you want to desaturate you know what you get is you know a colored image then it will saturate into grayscale actually you could even add more modules if you want that can you know have hover effects like overlay zoom in effect zoom out effect i don't know depending on what you want so i'll just del delete the desaturate i don't want that all right but we retain the resizing and the scale and crop all right so just save that and then that's the time since you already have a preset for an image style that you can use on wherever you would use it you can use it on views you can use it on manage display so this is assuming you already know how to use views so in our case the the resizing is happening from the the content type content type portfolio and manage display and as you can see the image is being resized using the teaser display the image is being resized to the original 560 here from the format so you simply have to switch that 
So since we have a new targeted image style already, 445 by 380, you might as well use that. Update and save. Okay, then save. Just making sure I don't have any cache so that to reflect the changes. Okay, and moving here, all right. I'll just duplicate another copy so that I can see the difference. Control F5. For some reason, it's not happening, I think. Oh, it happened. For example, the original, you have the cropping from the middle. This time, the cropping is happening from the top, right? Which is what, which is better, actually, in this case. But sometimes, you know, depending on your... On your purpose, on your need, on the display, sometimes you need the, you want the centered, right? But in our case, since this is screenshots of client websites, so the the cropping should start from the top, and this is better. So as you can see, if we inspect it, the images are now resized to. Maybe you just right click the image. The images are now resized to a smaller version compared to the original one 560 by 80. So, in this case, especially if you have a lot of images, you will be saving a lot of resources and you will be improving your uh, loading page performance. All right. So, probably if we do a, you know, if we do a Another retest. I hope so. <laughs> if you retest that, sometimes there are other factors like, you know, server cache uh, outside the website. Right. So let's just quickly check this. So I guess without really waiting for this, uh, we have shown you how to use image styles uh, properly. So the image styles can happen everywhere. Actually, once you have preset an image style, you can use that in views. For example, if you're using, for example, a image, uh, if you're using a views, for example, using fields, uh, you'd probably have, um, you'd probably have a field image here, and when you click that, you'll get the same settings. You can choose which image style to use for that image. Or sometimes you can do a templating thing, you know, that could happen here, where you can actually set that the image style that can be used should be used from whatever image styles we have set. All right, so I hope that helps. If you need help in any way with Drupal web design development and even web hosting and even SEO for Drupal, uh, we specialize on this. Just hit us up. Uh, just click on the contact us below and thank you i hope this helps